Welcome, Selling Coaching Nation. My name is Jeffrey St. Laurent, and this is not only the Tuesday Live Show, but this is the 200th episode of the Tuesday Live Show. So I am pumped, as always, but this is exciting because it's number 200, and you know what? Anytime we create a milestone in our business, whether it's something like this, whether it's income, whether it's uh, you know, a certain number of clients in a div given day, in a given month, there's all milestones along the way. No matter how long you've been doing business for, <laughs> there's, there's success milestones and there's failure milestones as well. <laughs> you know, like you haven't got, gotten a client in three months. You know, so, but wherever it is, especially the successful ones, it's so important to celebrate. But today's not just a celebration or just a yeehaw. We, you know, we did 200 together, um, but it's also a, a topic that I'm going to talk about the long term mindset for creating uh, successful results in your business. I've been doing this since 2004 full time, creating s consistent six and multiple six figure income results. And with that being said, it's not just about this month or this year, it's about futuristically looking forward. So with that being said, I do record all of my live shows and I put them on my website, sellingcoaching.com in the university. I help coaches transition to a full-time business. So I have fantastic resources in my university. In fact, right on the homepage, I have something where you, if you can enter your name and email address, you'll get instant access to one of my um, um, educational uh, components called Launching Your Full-Time Business, The First Three Vital Steps. So it's a great audio program that you get instant access to as well. So with that being said, I'm excited for the 200th episode and the the thing about you know something like this 200 episodes is um it it all happens one at a time. That's the reality of it. You know, episode 1 um is no different than episode 10 than 100 150 200 and the same thing with 250 300 and and so forth and so on which I will have. You know, it's just it's only a matter of time. So the only difference that you can have is that, you know, maybe episode one is a lot more challenging than episode, let's say, 100 or 200, because maybe you're a little bit nervous, you don't know what you're talking about, at least you think you don't. I have clients all the time, mentor coaching clients that think they don't know what they're talking about, don't know what they're going to do as they start off their first episodes, want to help them create some of their business and marketing structure, but they always figure it out, and I help them figure it out as well. But, you know, your first episode or your 100th or your 200th is no different. In fact, next week when I do episode uh, 201, it's, it's the same as today. It's the same as today, but it's building a, a pattern. It's building a habit. It's the consistency of that habit and that discipline. And that's where I want to come into today's topic is the, the long-term success because, you know, while it's important that we have milestones along the way and we keep, you know, focused in terms of driving forward, driving forward with our business. So it's, you know, just getting a new client. Okay, great. Well, where's my next client? You know, so it's like celebrate your first client or your 50th or your 100th client. Um, but then, you know, getting the next client's no different than the other one. Like we say, like with everything, hopefully it gets easier and easier to do the things you're doing, just as my 200th show might be, or hopefully is a lot easier for me to do than my first show. However, it, it, it requires different energies along the way to put into it because, of course, you know, in the beginning, you might not know what to say, but also two episodes in, you might not know what to say because you've said a lot at that point. So we've got to keep, keep, uh, keep the, um, the consistency of it and, and recognize that while we want to celebrate, we want to keep moving forward and we want to have a plan to keep moving forward. And, and the biggest plan that we could have, honestly, the biggest plan that we could have moving forward is going to be creating a daily discipline and, and a, a habitual ritual ritual around the core activities that we have in our business. Uh, I'm getting ready in the next uh, two, three weeks to launch a 14-day a challenge where it's I'm going to be put, putting coaches through you know the fundamental mechanics of what they can do to not only develop their message, but more importantly, get it out there, follow up, and get paid as get paid coaching clients and it doesn't matter what the economy looks like it doesn't matter what the social scene looks like you know we're, we're going through a tough time in our world right now um, for the viewers that are watching this live right now you know um, with the coronavirus that's going around you know and it, and it takes business and it, and it flips it around in terms of what we're used to and the way we would look at things 
but it also creates unprecedented opportunity for us coaches as well. And so we've got to look at the mechanics and the mechanics of marketing while we might be limited in certain areas. It's if you're looking at a certain area like, oh, well, I can't go out to face to face and do face to face stuff right now. Well, OK, that's OK. Well, what about the virtual space? Right. There's unlimited and unprecedented opportunity there. Right. But that goes down to the fundamental mechanics of getting ourselves out there. And that's when we think about a long term mindset. It doesn't matter the the uh, economy. You know, I mean, back in 2007, 2008, we had the last major crash, you know, six, seven, eight. You know, it was like we had hit a peak and I think like 04, 05. And then it was just like whew, downhill. And then, of course, the, the last 11 years since then has been, you know, one of the longest bull markets that we've seen, you know, which, which has been fantastic. But at the end of the day, so maybe we're out of that or not. Maybe this changes, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Circumstances don't matter. Can it be more challenging? Could it be harder to do certain things? Well, of course it can be, but it doesn't, our, our results don't have to change. We can still have forward progress. And, and that's why I look at this as an unprecedented opportunity for us all, because you can look at any situational components and say like, oh, well, the circumstances don't allow me to. Fair. And if that's the way you look at it, that's the way you look at it. However, what do the circumstances allow you to do? And that's where I, I go. The, the fundamental mechanics of what we're doing don't change no matter what we do from a marketing perspective, um, from a qualification perspective. At the end of the day, how we get our message out there doesn't matter. It's the, what matters is that we do get it out there and then we get it out there on a consistent basis. And then we get it out there on a consistent basis. It's, it's being able to, if you will, hunt down and track down the interested parties by creating conversations and, and starting to understand needs that people have. And that doesn't change. It doesn't change no matter what's going on. And, and maybe in an economy that's down or in situations where things are, are more different than average or up, Maybe you've got to talk to 50 people to get a client versus maybe before you talk to 25. So you talk to more people, right? But the fundamentals don't change within that process. You just got to work harder to maybe get a result. And that's not always necessarily true for everybody. The point is, is I don't want you to use any of that stuff. If we want to have a long-term mindset, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter what's going on in our world, right? It's, there's the economy and then there's your economy. Take care of your economy. Take care of yourself, your health, your business, your finances, your family. You know, create a wall around yourself that doesn't matter what happens outside of that. Of course, it affects you and it impacts you, but it doesn't have to destroy you. And that's the long-term mindset that I've had and that I, that I continue to have, that no matter what happens, I'm going to stay strong in this. And I'm always going to go back to the fundamental mechanics of speaking my message and getting it out to my audience, whether no matter how small or little, and even if I'm starting off and I just have friends and family, and you're thinking, oh my God, that's all I have is friends and family. That's where you start off with. And you're like, oh, well, none of them are gonna hire me. Well, you don't know, and you don't know what that can turn into. And if just for right now, it's friends and family or people that you know, and, and that's allowing you the space over the next weeks and weeks uh, as you begin your business or wherever you're at in your business to begin to practice honing and articulating your message, then that's what it's there for. And, and so recognize though that there's no rush to this. There's no rush to your business. This is part of the mindset that I want to give you. I never had a rush to build my business. Of course, I want results. I want to increase my results. I want to keep moving forward and doing, uh, you know, create, create things that challenge me, that excite me, that give me purpose that also there in turn be allow me to become a part of other people's success and help them champion their successes and move them forward. That's my why. Beyond helping coaches transition to a full-time business, it's being a part of people's successes. And, and that's evolved with me from the fitness industry to the coaching industry and down the road, who knows where I'll be. You know, I don't know what, where I'm gonna evolve and go to as my life changes and the world changes and, and it evolves. But at the end of the day, I'm always gonna be a part of people's successes. That's, that's my mission and that's my why of whatever I do. And so with that in mind is I gotta make sure that I am top of mind, I am in front of people. And I found that when I do that, I slowly and consistently build my business. 
if, if I look at my website as an example, so if you go to sellingcoaching.com and I mentioned at the beginning of the show and all my shows, hey, I've got some great resources. I help coaches transition to a full-time business and run on the homepage. I've got this great resource for you. You enter your name and email, right? That's lead capture. So if I look at my statistics over the past, without any marketing, I've done, I've done Facebook ads. I'm doing some stuff right now. I'm doing some digital campaigns, but just organic traffic to my website and people that are actually signing up for that free resource from just organic, not paid marketing, just what I'm doing. I've looked at the average over the last, I think it's been four years, and I've averaged just over two people a week. That's not a lot. <laughs> That's not a lot. You know, and, but, but my whole point is, is that it's consistent. And you multiply two people a week over four years, okay, well, that's, I don't know what that comes out to, 300 people-ish, you know. Okay, that's, it's still, it's not a lot of people over time, but the thing is, you don't need a lot of people. You know what, yeah, if you're gonna create, if you're looking to create a seven-figure income, you're gonna need a whole hell of a lot more people than that. But you can create a happy and healthy, good, solid, six-plus-figure income on not a lot of people. What you need is you need engaged people. You need people who are following you, because you provide value and because you care and because you show up and because they trust you and because you're a role model and, and you're consistent. If I didn't say that already, <laughs> you can be forgetful and be consistent, right? But the point is, is it's, it's, it's that consistency and be in front of them and show them that you're there doing the work. And no matter what happens, you're going to be there. So you're reliable. That's it. So many people along the way, and I've had the fortune of doing this for, for going on my 16th year, um, and, and I had you know 15 plus years in my personal training business before that, you know, so it's, it's similar but differently applied. But I had to show up there too. I had to show up at work. I had to do my classes. I had to get in front of people. I had to approach people and help them out with their workouts and give them free stuff. And, and, and then ask them, hey, listen, you know, do you, would you ever find it beneficial if I were to help you, if I were your personal trainer? Would you be open to looking into that, right? And now I'm, I'm doing that as, I did that as a, as a life coach and a business coach, and now I'm doing that as a mentor coach for coaches, helping them transition to full-time business. You know, and I'm creating and I'm gauging. Before I went live here, I was on Facebook Messenger. And all the people that joined my Selling Coaching Private Facebook group, if you want access to that, go to sellingcoaching.com or at the top of every page is a click. You can, you can join and go that way. But I, I engage with everyone that comes into the group. You know, do I, do I want more people coming in? Well, of course I'd love more people, but I've, you know what? I've got a consistent number of people coming in each and every week, each and every day. It's not buttloads of people. It's not like, oh my God, it's, you know, hundreds of people a week. It's not like that, right? It's dozens of people a week, you know, or a dozen people. And, and that's okay. And sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more depending on what I'm doing. But the point is, is that there's a steady flow of people. And with the steady flow of people, I'm making sure that I'm connecting with them and I'm, I'm, I'm having some personal attention with them. And, and that's what I found leads to creating great results and not having to have hundreds of thousands of people or even tens of thousands of people. I've impacted those amount of people along the way, but you can create cumulatively great results and solid, consistent results over time. And that's what I'm asking of you. you know, and if you're like, oh man, I want to blow this thing up and blah, 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 you still need time. Like I said earlier, there's no rush. I've never been in a rush to build my business and I, and I urge you not to be in a rush as well because I don't care what any, any time frames people give you and, and people are like, oh, let's get this going in the next six months. You're going to be able to quit your job and things like that. You know what? Maybe you can. Maybe you can. And, and it's, a, it's a very hard statement for someone to say like, oh, I'm going to help you create a certain amount of income in a certain amount of time. You just can't. You can't do that. You can't predict results. I can help you create, lay out a system for you, and I can lay out specific actions for you that will give you your desired results, and I can help you hone and get better at those actions, and we can predict those actions because you have complete command over what you can do in a given amount of time. And then we can see what results are created from that and we can adjust and or pivot or improve the actions based on the results being what we want or not. That's what I can help you with, right? I can help you create a structure for that. And if your results are less than desirable or needed, then we go back to the actions and we start to say, well, where can we tweak and pivot but we don't do that like, oh, I've been doing it for a week and it's not working. I've been doing it for a month and it's not working. I've been doing it for six months or a year and it's not working. Give it some freaking time. 
give it some time and even a year. It's like, yes. And I'm not saying I'm suggesting do an activity for a year and have it not yield any results and not change. That would be silly. The point is, is that, you know, you can't do something for a short amount of time, meaning, you know, weeks, even months, even two, three, four, five months. Like you need to give something time to really start to pan out. You know, you can't have a, a person, you know, oh, I'm going to, I want to do some live speaking engagements, you know, and, and maybe not now with, with what's going on in the world, but, but whatever. I'm just talking in general. This too shall pass. We're in the heat of it. We're not even really in the heat of it yet. But the point is this too shall pass. The point being is that I don't care what's going on in the world, you know, and how it adapts you right now. But at the end of the day, if you want to do an event and you start reaching out to people and you're not getting callbacks or you're getting a lukewarm response or you're getting people or, or you know, yay, that sounds good, but they're not really doing anything with it. All right, well, we'll give it enough time. So you do that in your first two or three weeks and, and you're like, it's not going to work when it has worked predictably for so many people for so long, okay, well maybe you need to get better at it as well, but you know what? The next person you reach out to could be the very person that says, you know what, I'm interested, let's talk a little bit more. And so when you stop short, that's when you're stopping yourself short of the potential results. Success is just another step in a series of steps. If you stop stepping one step before, or even five or a hundred steps before six, that next step, which could have been your success, then you're cutting yourself short. The point is, is you need to see things through in this business. And when you don't have a rush for it, I said, yes, you want to create results, but sometimes you need to do the work and you need to do the work a lot to get something. Once you start to see it though, that something starts to change. Like when I'm with my mentor coaching clients and I'm helping them work through a, let's say a sales conversation, a potential lead comes in from something that they do or someone inquiring about their coaching. And we have some back and forth emails. We may have some phone calls, some coaching sessions, mentoring around, you know, okay, what are they saying? What do we want to say back? Okay, here's what I'd recommend. No, say this a little bit differently. Okay, when they get, when you get their response back, get back to me. And I, I literally will walk them through this back and forth conversation with potential prospects for coaching clients, for setting up events, um, for negotiating with contracts, um, you know, for coaching in uh, business environments for enterprises, group coaching, anything like that. I help them walk them through this back and forth. And they not only that I'm, I'm not doing it for them, I'm helping them. I'm sometimes in instance, I'm writing it for them and saying, yeah, here's what I would say and here's why. But then I like to see, okay, what are you saying? And, and I start to like to see how they're learning to the point where sometimes a client will write something back and I'll say, well, what do you want to say? And they'll write me it and I'll be like, Wow, you learn well because it sounds exactly like something that I would say, you know, and, and they feel comfortable saying it. And that's how I know they're learning. But once they get that result, it's amazing what happens. Things start to shift. Things start to become easier because they understand how it happens, how it can be created. And then all of a sudden they start doing the same thing that was so hard and that maybe wasn't working and now it's working. But you've got to give it enough time to go through it. And how much time? I, I'm not going to give you a time frame. I, I like to say, you know, you got to give yourself 18 to 24 months at least to really start to, to see things through. Because there's also a time where, you know, you're up, you're down, you're left, you're right, you're, you're stagnant, you're stopped because you don't know what the hell to do or you're, you're discouraged. You know, that's okay. But you need to keep moving through that. And it doesn't mean, though, in 8 to 18 to 24 months, you're going to create a certain result or you're going to be able to quit your job or you're going to be able to whatever doesn't mean that it just means that you're going to be well on your way and at that point you'll have built a, a very solid foundation and you'll have created enough results and understand how you've created those results and why you've created those results and develop the necessary skill sets to duplicate those results over and over again where you can start looking and expanding and, and start potentially saying, okay, well, where, what are some other marketing avenues that I can go down? Or can I start to, you know, th throw some more fuel on the existing fire to, to create even bigger and better results, but you you've developed, your skill sets are developed. And that's the beauty of what this is. You know, as humans, we take time to develop. How long does, does it take for a child to walk? let's say roughly a year, right? Some do it in seven, eight months. <laughs> Some do it in a year and a half maybe, right? But at some point, <laughs> the child's gonna learn to walk. But that's, that's a long time. Compared to, let's say, uh, a lion or, or, or a, a wildebeest that, <laughs> a wilde sorry, a wildebeest gets born and it's like, the mom's like, dude, there's a lion coming. 
you got to, like, run now, and I can't carry you, so <laughs> just keep up. And if you don't keep up, guess what? <laughs> Enjoy the afterlife. Like, they don't have time. Sometimes they've got seconds to learn how to run and walk. You know what I mean? Although it's life or death. And, but but we're not a wildebeest who's got a lion chasing us the second we, you know, pop out of the womb. <laughs> it doesn't happen to us. Thank God, right? So So why are you pretending you're a wildebeest or thinking you have to be with this business. You can't be. And you've got to be the human and recognize that you're a human and recognize that the long-term mindset is, is that, you know what? In five years from now, in 10 years from now, who am I becoming as a result of doing this? You know, how am I going to be able to create the business? If it, if it took you 10 years to create a six-figure income from the comfort of your own home, is that such a bad thing? Knowing that you're at, at that point, you're you're like in the top like three percent, less than three percent of the population, and and I would and I don't I don't know those, those are the people that earn a six figure income in general. What are the percentage of people that are business owners that work from home that create a six figure income or more? I bet you that number is even smaller. Right, so if it took you ten years to create a six-figure income, now granted, you're not going zero, 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 zero all the way, and then ten years you're like there. It means that you know you're starting off and you're at you know five thousand, and then maybe twenty thousand, and twenty-five thousand, and you know year five you're at fifty, sixty thousand. I don't know, I don't again, I don't know what it is, right? But seven, eight, nine, you know, you're probably teetering on eighty, ninety. So you're earning some decent money along the way, and then at some point it's just like you kind of break that threshold, and then you you kind of keep going from there or maybe you just kind of go up and down like this a little bit and then you have a little blip and then maybe things start to change and you go down or up. But the whole point is, is, is that such a bad thing? No, because also if you were in business 10 years from now and you're still earning a healthy, solid, consistent income where your months aren't like this, I've got a $10,000 a month, I've got a $2,000 a month, then I've got a $20,000 a month and then I've got a $6,000 a month. Like that's not fun, I've been there. You know, and it's great when you're at the twenty, twenty-five thousand dollar a month. Like, ooh, I'm feeling on top of the world. And next month, you're at two or three thousand dollars or six grand. And, and, and I've even at, you know, I've been at a twenty-five thousand dollar a month. And next month, I'm at like you know, eight or nine thousand dollars. And then it's like, um, <laughs> I'm like, oh, gee.